The lost colony of Roanoke is one of the greatest mysteries in American history. In 1587, a group of English settlers landed on Roanoke Island, off the coast of what is now North Carolina, with the intention of establishing the first permanent English settlement in the New World. However, when a supply ship returned to the colony in 1590, the settlers were gone. No one knows what happened to them. There are many theories about what happened to the lost colony. Some people believe that they were killed by Native Americans. Others believe that they were kidnapped by pirates. Still others believe that they simply disappeared into the wilderness. The Lost Colony was founded by Sir Walter Raleigh, an English explorer and courtier. Raleigh had been granted a charter by Queen Elizabeth I to establish a colony in the New World. He sent two expeditions to Roanoke Island in 1584 and 1585, but both expeditions were unsuccessful. In 1587, Raleigh sent a third expedition to Roanoke Island. This expedition was led by John White, who had been a member of the 1585 expedition. White's wife, Eleanor Dare, and their newborn daughter, Virginia, were also on the expedition. The colonists arrived on Roanoke Island in July 1587. They built a fort and began to plant crops. However, they soon faced problems. The soil on Roanoke Island was poor, and the colonists had difficulty growing enough food to eat. They also had relations with the Native Americans, which was sometimes hostile. In August 1587, White returned to England to get more supplies for the colony. He planned to be back within a year. However, the war between England and Spain prevented him from returning until 1590. When White returned to Roanoke Island in 1590, the colony was deserted. The fort was in ruins, and there was no sign of the settlers. The only clue to their whereabouts was the word Croton carved into a tree. Croton was the name of an island to the south of Roanoke Island. White believed that the colonists had gone to Croton in search of food. However, when he visited Croton, he found no sign of the colonists. White was forced to return to England without the colonists. He never saw them again. The fate of the lost colony remains a mystery to this day. There are many theories about what happened to them, but no one knows for sure. Some people believe that they were killed by Native Americans. Others believe that they were kidnapped by pirates. Still others believe that they simply disappeared into the wilderness. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in the lost colony mystery. Researchers have been using new technologies, such as DNA testing and ground penetrating radar, to search for clues about the colonists' fate. In 2015, a team of researchers from the University of North Carolina at Charlotte announced that they had found evidence of a Native American settlement on Hatteras Island, which is located south of Roanoke Island. The researchers believe that this settlement may have been the place where the lost colony colonists went after they left Roanoke Island. The mystery of the lost colony of Roanoke continues to fascinate and intrigue people to this day. It is a reminder of the dangers and hardships that early settlers faced in the New World. It is also a reminder of the enduring human spirit, and the hope that one day the colonists' fate will be revealed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our fascinating content.